Hi guys, I'm Sean Charlie from USF Campus Kesihatan for courses LSP 402 Group 4 and my message number is 147AOA. Today, I will talk about food in the future, insects. Haven't you heard about food crisis? For a Malaysian as us who live in a stable country, it seems to be very far from us. But in reality, the food crisis is approaching us now. In the Global Report of Food Crisis 2019, many countries such as Yemen and the Republic of Congo are suffering from food crisis. The extreme climate change in the global caused many dis natural disasters such as droughts and flood. The natural disaster destroyed the plantation area and caused the food supply to decrease. You might ask that, what should we eat during the food crisis? And my answer will be insects. Yes, insects. Insects will be the main food sources in the future. Why insects are recommended to be the future food sources? As an undergrad of nutrition, I can tell you about the benefits of eating insects. Firstly, most of the insects are high in protein. For example, locusts and grasshopper have a protein content of 13 to 28% by mass, which is comparable to beef. Besides, the insects are also low in saturated fatty acid. Saturated fatty acid is a very harmful substance for body because it will increase the blood LDH level and damage our cardiovascular system. While the grasshopper only contain monounsaturated fatty acid MUFA and polyunsaturated fatty acid PUFA, these unsaturated fatty acids are good for our cardiovascular system. More than that, insects are also high in mineral, especially trace mineral. For example, the moth pink caterpillar contain high amount of iron and zinc. Iron is essential for erythrocyte or red blood cell production, while zinc is essential for body development and body immune system. Some of the insects are also low in calorie, such as adult, ye adult yellow mealworm. It's only 138 kilocalorie per 100 gram of fresh weight, and grasshopper has only 94 kilocalorie. You might think that it is very disgusting to eat insects, but with proper cooking method, the insects can be a delicacy too. There are many countries eating insects, such as Thailand, Mexico, Netherlands, and Japan. In Thailand, their popular street food is not just Pad Thai, but also the fried or barbecued insects. Many of the Samis love to pair these insects with their beer. The another example is Hachinoko, which is the pupa or larva of a web. The insects is eaten by the people in Gifu Prefecture in Japan. They cook the hachinoko together with rice and it becomes a delicacy among the residents in Gifu Prefecture. In our country, the Sarakian are also eating lava called Ulat Sago. There are some problems to publish the eating of insects as a food sources. One of the problems is hala issue. In our Quran, there's not clearly stated that eating insects is whether hala or not. Lack of research in this field caused the Muslim not confidence to eat insects as main food sources. The another problem is safety issue. The insects might be polluted by many harmful substances such as heavy metal. Heavy metal is very dangerous to our body and it because it may cause a reverse, irreversible damage to our body and even cause death. For example, lead will cause damage on our central nervous system causing the mental retardation in children and even death. The toxicity of the insects is also an unknown. Thus, the safeness of eating insects as food sources is not secure. Insects eating will be a trend for future food. It causes less pollution to the environment and brings a lot of benefits to our health, no matter you are willing or not. In the future, your dining table will fill with a lot of disgusting looking insects but it might be very delicious for us. Thank you.